Well, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day, but I have to be honest with you, this is um, a, a rough day. I'm going to say it's actually a really rough day. Um, Larry Allen, 52 years of age, passing is just way, way too soon. And I'm just blown away by that one because, I'll be honest with you, I am six years older than Larry Allen, and for him to be gone now is just unimaginable to me. I am just uh, beside myself at the moment. Um, it, it makes you realize how precious life is and, um, you know, how you need to make the most of every moment. And um, the thing is, when things like this happen, it teaches you that um, your time is increasingly valuable. And nobody knows, because I always say that um, the most expensive commodity in the world is time. You can't buy it, can't trade it, you can't make any more of it. And when your time is up, your time is up. It's irreplaceable. And that's where you look at it if you are a player in the NFL and people will say, oh, you should take a team-friendly deal or, you know, be a team player and things like that. The reality is, is in everything in life, you got to make the most of it when you can. And that goes for CeeDee Lamb and Dak Prescott and these players because your time on the football field is limited. It is really limited. And you only have X amount of time to get things done. And when you see some of these NFL players that pass away at 52, or some of them 28 and 36 and things, in the last year we're seeing a lot of our heroes that are leaving way too soon. And you have to wonder, is some of that attributed to playing football, your quality of life? So, yeah, you got to get paid. You got to get paid and you got to make your mark as quick as you can and get out alive. And this is where now people always have their opinions of players. They're being greedy or they should take less money and things. You know, if you were in their position, would you? Would you know that putting your life on the line every single play? Because we saw a person literally die on the field. How much is that worth? Especially when you are one of the top people in your position on the planet. I'm not mad about a player wanting to get paid. I'm not. I'm never going to be. And right now, C.D. Lamb is one of those players. What we heard was Jerry Jones say, I want to see more of the leaves fall, um, which is kind of crazy which means you let more leaves fall and you see how much the leaves are worth. And we now know with, you know, Jamar Chase and, of course, uh, CeeDee Lamb are the next two up to be paid. There's no reason for the Cowboys to wait any longer. The market has been set. Justin Jefferson is at the top of the league at $35 million, literally $5 million more per year than anybody else, the highest non-paid quarterback in the history of football. And now you need to get C.D. Lamb done. Get it done so you can get him in the fold and you can get that cap relief. And then maybe we'll look at trying to say, let's win another one. Because Jerry, Jerry, I believe you got about 30 years, 30 years on Larry Allen. If Larry Allen, one of the strongest individuals I have ever seen in my life, is passing away at 52, I'm not saying that your time is near, Jerry, but 30 years more than 52 is a long ways away. You've had a great life, and there should be a sense of urgency right now to get C.D. Lambs done 
and to make some other moves to try and make this team as good as it can be. If we're sitting here with pro football focus saying the Cowboys have the ninth best roster right now in football without having done anything to try and make it better. If um, ESPN is saying you've got the fourth best chance to go to the Super Bowl, why not take this opportunity right now and say, let's get CD done, get that extra money with the 12 million, 12 and a half million we have right now, and let's get a couple more pieces to try and fatten up the hog a little bit to try and make this run. Got to do it. We're 94 days away from the season start. God, I've been gone for a while and hadn't even noticed. I mean, when I started this, got this clock, I think it was like 100 and, 138, 140 maybe. Wow. 94 days to try and make this team a Super Bowl winning team. It's going to cost a pretty penny. But right now, the cap number for C.D. Lamb is $17.5 million. You can make that cap number for this year, maybe eight, nine. Get that money and do something with it. Let me see if they've got uh, Justin Jefferson's cap numbers of the Vikings over the cap. Let's see if they've got his adjusted numbers up. Um, wow. Here you, here you go, good people. Here you go. Let me make sure that this is the, the, the new one. Because if this is correct, wow. Yeah. So, check this out, y'all. Check this out. So, Justin Jefferson got his new deal. Got his new deal. Do you know what his cap number is for this year, good people? His cap number is $8.6 million. Hmm. Do you know what his cap number is for next year? $15 million. After that, it's $38 million and 43 down the road. But here's the deal. Really, once you get to 2026, it's almost a break-even point between his cap number and his uh, uh, dead money number. It's 38 versus 41. After 2027, and you got to figure that he's going to be good for four years, his cap number is 43. You could technically cut him and only take 14 million. So when you start looking at this, we're saying 15 and 9, so that's 24. 24 and 38, that's... Uh, 24 and 38, 42, 50, 62. So here's the real deal. For the first three years on this deal, you're averaging $20 million a year for Justin Jefferson. So even at that rate, if the Cowboys did this deal, um, you'd be sitting pretty. Right now at the moment, we have... Um, I want to say projections of $65 million of cap space for next year. Um, saving the $10 million right now could be rollover money for next year. Yeah. So you could look at this and say, basically, okay, so, and I may be wrong. I may be wrong here, but, but listen to me for a second. At the moment, C.D. Lamb's contract is $17.5 million this year as a uh, fifth year option. Justin Jefferson just dropped down to eight. So hypothetically, we're saying you save $10 million this year on his money, right? If you actually take that $10 million you're saving this year and apply it to his number for next year because you could roll that over, then that really means that Justin Jefferson's cap 
money that cost that you're paying for next year is only $5 million because you could roll that money over to next year. So I ask you again, what's the reason for not getting CD done now? Let's get this sucker done, good people. All righty. I will, uh, I'm going to be doing some more work here at the house. I need to run back out and get some more things um, and all. But as always, you know, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And um, I will see you all real soon. Peace.